in my hood just like a Field, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, that's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. From the four, it's second and goal. And he will get into the... Oh, no! Oh, no! David Johnson, his fourth touchdown. He was the cover guy for Madden in 2016, but I don't think Gronk saw that as being his highlight for the year. What did he have, 25 catches yeah, for 25. the season? Only eight games went down for good right before Thanksgiving. You know he wants to be back with a vengeance in 2017. Fournette, a first down carry. <laughs> and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first. And he's in. Wow. Thank you, Papa. Mike Evans is a... On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Throwing on first down is Brady. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. 23 yards on the play. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady... And he'll take it. His sixth touchdown of the season, and the Bucs have taken the lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking the offensive line. It's the Colts and Titans, an AFC South battle. <laughs> 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 40, 20, Brad. are just an extra point away from tying this game. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They go play action here on first down. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. A handoff to Wow! And he's in to the end zone. But in this case, let's talk about a big year Cameron Braid had in 2016, the tight end. Finished with 57 catches, 660 yards, and also eight scores. The tight end Cameron Braid was the target. And it's second down. 
The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you gotta worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Brady not coming to the sideline. They're gonna go for it here on fourth. They do go for it. It's Brady. Oh, no. Boy, a real head scratcher there. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Well, that, my friend, I guess is the definition of a head scratcher. Fourth and long, this stage of the game. What were they doing? I just have to believe that he, he looked at the situation, still in the first half, decided if there's a time to be aggressive, now is it because there's still time to make up for it if things don't go right. Of course, a lot of questions on this one. And look, I want to go for it as much as anyone. But fourth and long? Yeah, I don't think I would have there. That one seemed a little bit on the irrational side. Fans might be a little angry at that one. On second down, Palmer. This will be caught by Brown. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun. It, and he is <laughs> John Brown, as the first half is winding down, and the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead. Looking for Evans. Oh, no. Picked off near the 44. And he will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Certainly not something we see often from number 12, Tom Brady, although we did see it in Super Bowl 51. And that's why it's so memorable, because it wasn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They keep it with Fournette on first down. And an alley to run. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A great play there. His third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. So he's in for his third score of the game. And a defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you. But for one person to get three... It almost sets him apart from the rest of the game. After picking up the first on the ground. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Now 
Bomber to throw on second down. And he'll take this one in for the... This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up the first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Buccaneer football, but they've got work to do. They find themselves behind here to start the fourth quarter. One receiver to the left is Evans. different ways to create space but on that play he did it with that big wide body of his didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play but it did what it was supposed to pick up a first down and Gresham's got it over the middle and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line give him nine there on the first down completion well clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height sit back in the pocket fired over the middle that makes things tougher defensively doesn't it it really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed but when you have that type of height he can stay in there if he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And that's one of the few times they've been able to contain him. He's had a heck of a game, and maybe he's getting a little bit tired from how many times he's carried the ball. But I always think back to what all those old coaches say. The ball's not that heavy. Keep carrying it, kid. That one was intended for John Brown, and it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. That's complete right around the eight. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And the 42-year lead in the fourth with the football. Brady now to throw. And Boyd has it over the middle. And he'll go down at the 28. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. They give them five yards there, and it's enough for the first. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Again, it's Fournette, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Yeah, let me pop out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. He'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And a stoppage here, a timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive. But right now they need five yards on this third down try. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. They stop him for only three that time. And that'll bring up fourth down. 
So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They'll go with a big bank, Fournette. Fournette fight it. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they take yeah! it away. Wow. wow, good job. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. Trying to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Palmer on fourth down. He gets it to Brown. work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. They've gone final now out in Kansas City, and it was the Chiefs who emerged victorious. Patrick Mahomes, he was the story there with four touchdown passes. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he can't hang on oh, no. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared to stand your feet defensively and tackle. Oh, no. It's incomplete. So I thought you were And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
So for the Cards, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Los Angeles.